let's reset for mid year hey lovelies welcome to my channel the productive girl today's video is how to reset your life for mid year 2022 so it's june 2022 and time flies so fast but in this fast paced time let's just slow down reflect upon our goals that we set at the beginning of the year and reset our life for mid year so i'm going to be sharing nine tips that you try and do so that you can hit that reset button and have a fresh start for the mid year if you're interested then keep on watching but before going into the video do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever i post a new video now let's get started tip number 1 reset your physical space clear space is equal to clear mind in order to have a clear mind to think clearly and have clarity we just need to have our physical environment clean so reset your physical space so you can clean your room or if you have a desk you can clean your desk you can declutter all the things and just see if you need a particular thing or not or if you don't have a room or desk but you may have few things that belongs to you like your notebooks or your stationery books your cosmetics you can clean those or you can even help your parents to clean your home kitchen and everything so clear space is equal to clear mind which is absolutely true when your space is really clear our mind can think calmly so that we can take better decision okay. my tip number 2 is to reset your digital space we all have a mobile phones or desktop or laptop and you guys are watching this video in devices only go through your mobile phone go through the screenshots that you have took go through all the selfies that you have took for that one perfect selfie and uh, have the ones that you really like and discard the others so that you have enough space to create new memories for the next 6 months or to take new great selfies and back up some important files and documents that you have on your mobile you can organize emails sms for sms organization if you have an android mobile I would recommend this app called sms organizer It is by Microsoft. It really helps to organize your messages, to organize your SMS into personal transaction and promotional SMS, etc. So that you can quickly declutter your SMS. Same goes for your computer or laptop. You can organize your files in desktop and downloads and clear the unwanted and organize. the wanted files accordingly so you can follow this uh, folder organization system which is basically your each and every file needs to have a home like needs to have a folder all your files needs to be organized in the folder there should not be any file that don't have a folder like that you can categorize according to the categories it can be any files like audio file video file pictures ppt word document or whatever and if you are a student you can create a folder like study and keep all your study materials and study related stuff inside that if you want to be super organized you can even create a subfolder in the folder of study and you can create subfolders with all your subjects and if you are working then you can categorize into two white categories like personal and work in personal you can have your personal files personal videos and photos and everything and in work related stuff you can have all your work related documents things like that so like that you can organize according to this uh, file organization system by following this system you can not only stay organized but also you can find a particular file so quickly you can easily locate that file and find it out easily rather if you just don't know where it is if it is in desktop or if it is in downloads or you don't know where it is then it will be difficult for you to find out that particular file that you need so you can do follow this uh, system for computers and laptop file organization okay tip number 3 is brain dump as we decluttered and cleaned our physical and digital space now our mind will be quite clear to think and do all the mind related stuff so first let's start with brain dump so if you don't know already brain dump simply refers to dumping everything that going on inside your brain onto a paper so if you're not comfortable using a paper you can even write it in your mobile notepad or computer sticky notes but i would highly suggest you and recommend you to try the paper and pen method for this brain dump section alone because it will be really effective that way you just write whatever crosses your mind when you take your pen and paper so it will really help you to find clarity so if you are quite new to brain dump you may be sometimes feel like what i need to write nothing going on in my mind if you are someone like that then i would 
would recommend you to follow journal prompts that you would like to journal upon. Tip number four, gratitude. So write a gratitude list. I cannot stress you guys enough on how much important is to feel grateful about. So you need to be grateful and thankful for what you have in your life. And you can write a gratitude note, like you can take your notebook and write all the things that you feel grateful for for the past six months. It can be a few things or it can be a lot of things. Numbers don't matter. All that matters is doing this practice of gratefulness. So if you haven't tried gratitude practice, I will highly suggest you guys do this. My fifth tip is to write achievement list. So we may have a few setbacks in the last six months as well. Do also have a lot of achievements and lot of wins and accomplishments have happened in the last six months. So think about that and write all your small wins, achievement and accomplishment. It can be anything. If you consider that as a win for you, like an achievement for you, just write it out. You need not justify your achievement like it is my achievement. If it is feel like an achievement for you, just write it. That's it. By seeing this, you will be so happy, grateful and proud of yourself that how many wonderful things that you have accomplished so far. And it will be a boost of motivation for you to accomplish more in the next six months. My sixth tip is to do RRR. So I'm not talking about the RRR movie. So what RRR means is that revisit, reflect and review. What you need to revisit, reflect and review is your goals, habits and routines that you might have set at the beginning of the year. Revisit those goals, those habits, those routines. And second step is to reflect on those. Just take each and every goal. At where point I am in achieving this goal? Am I doing any progress? I've already achieved this towards achieving the goal. If you're not achieving that goal or if you don't take any step towards that goal, then reflect about why you didn't take any step towards it. Have you forget that goal? Or if that goal no longer a goal for you and then review like what you can do next in order to accomplish those goals or you need to set some new goals for yourself. So these are the things that you need to do so that you can find some clarity. Do do this RRR step. My seventh tip is to set new goals, habits and routines. So this step you can skip if you don't want to set new goals, routines and habits and if you're okay with your already set habits and goals that you have set in the beginning of the year and if you're going to just follow it for the rest of the year then you can definitely do that no problem with that but if you're someone who feel like i need to change my goal and i no longer see myself uh, following this goal then you can definitely set some new goals habits and routines for yourself but make sure your goals are realistic and specific in order to achieve them in the next six months tip number eight just add self-care so after you complete all these steps just add a self-care ritual you can do anything to pamper yourself that you really like tip number nine take action even if you have new goals routines and habits and just feel like it's a new beginning and a new fresh start no matter whatever you do if you don't take action then your goals just be there it will not have any progress at all so the most important step is to take action and just start working towards your goals so i will be giving a bonus tip regarding this uh, take action tip just see your goals and just select a goal and see what you can do right now for just uh, 10 minutes 30 minutes how much ever time that you prefer that is related to that goal for example if your goal is to complete like say five books in the next six months you can set a timer for at least 10 minutes and take a book and start reading so that it's not set goals and you have just started one of your goal today right now itself so it will motivate you and inspire you to just keep going and complete the goal so do a little something towards any of your goal this is my little bonus tip definitely if you do follow these steps you will get a fresh new start in order to tackle the next six months and turn it into productive or however way you want it to be if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i shall see you guys in my next video until then be positive and spread positivity Bye bye